I wouldn't have time to work on the other. Charlie, an educator. In this function, yes. Uh, do you in work life? indoors? Yes. Uh, are you ever in a classroom? At times. Uh, are you ever in an office? No. That makes it three down and seven to go, Mr. Gable. Uh, Mr. Falkenberg, your part of the country is noted for great private and private schools and preparatory schools and so on. Like Tilton School in Tilton, New Hampshire, oh, which is my preparatory Well, I think Ben and I will have to win a puzzle. Very fine school. school. And the incomparable Deerfield Academy. And the incomparable Deerfield right. and Tilton are incomparable, I'll agree. Thank you, Mr. Uh, do you teach people for a specific profession in any school? No. No, that makes it four down and six to go, Miss Press. Are you connected with an organization that would be known to those of us on the panel? Possibly. Would you, in your work, uh, ever have anything to do with an organization like the Salvation Army? No. No. Five down and five to go, Mr. Sir. But, Mr. Falkenberg, in the work that you do, is uh, charity doing good works for other people part of the uh, general area in which you uh, operate? No, not charity. Not Six at all. Six down, four to go, Mr. Gallup. But is assistance part of your work? Yes, in sense, it is. Assistance uh, in the broadest use of the word, yes. In other words, we are presuming, Dorothy, that if they come for some educational purpose, that uh, they are assisted by reason of the service that is given. Uh, can these people be adults as well as teenagers? Yes, indeed. But are some of them of college or high school age? Yes. Yeah. So your work has a great deal of variety, a great deal of spread, age-wise. Yes, uh, would you say that you taught a specific subject? Yes, I think this is true. Well, I would, I would say that it deals with a restricted uh -huh. area of subject matter. If, if you mean here a subject in a term of uh, curriculum, i.e. a language or a science specifically, is that what you mean? Well, I was thinking of, uh, in a broader term, as the humanities. Would you say that your work came under the humanities? Rather would, than... Uh, no, I wouldn't think so. I'm going to give you one more minute. Seven down and three to go, Mr. Falkenberg. Thank you. Mr. Falkenberg, you're very well spoken. Would you teach anything uh, like speech? No. Eight down and two to go, Miss Francis. Would you ever wear anything in your profession other than the ordinary suit that you have on now? No. Nine down and one to go, Mr. Uh, Surf. We have, we've left one area out of this entirely, Mr. Falkenberg, and that is the area of athletics. Are you in that in any sense of the word? No, sir. That's ten down and nine to go. This is a very tough one. I don't want you to feel bad about this. Actually, Mr. Falkenberg runs a clinic on how to stop smoking. Uh -huh. <laughs> As a matter of fact, with, a, with an associate, Dr. McFarland, he has written a book on how to stop smoking in five days. And I well, interviewed and the you man interviewed who wrote Dr. the McFarland. book with. Right. Oh. That was why we drink it. Now, the, I do want to explain one thing. The question was asked if there was any relationship to religion, and, and uh, Mr. Falkenberg properly answered indirectly because he is a minister of the class. And it's the Reverend Falkenberg. The Reverend Falkenberg yeah. is right, and this has, has uh, now concentrated on this area of, of the clinic's work, and so it's an indirect relationship. How are you doing? Well, very, very uh, well over the country. In fact, we begin a program here tomorrow evening, and the... Uh, medical college here and also I go to Portland, Oregon and 1,800 smokers waiting out there a week from tonight. <laughs> oh, uh, Mr. Falkenberg, would you come on with me and meet my wife? <laughs> I'd be glad to. <laughs> and how are you doing? Have you broken the habit yet? What? Who's missing? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's all. Thank you very much, sir. You puzzled the panel and it's a joy to have had you with Thank us. You, sir. Thank you. Our next contestant, will you enter and sign in, please? D, D, winner, right?
Miss or Mrs. Winner? Miss. Miss Winner? Where are you right. from? From, uh, originally from New York, but uh, I live in Miami. Oh, you're a New Yorker and transplanted in Florida, That's are you? That's right. Oh, mm -hmm. fine. Nice to have you with us, Miss Winner. May I present our panel? Will you join me here, please? And we'll let the audience at home and the audience in the theater know exactly what your line is. Good night. Thanks for being with us on What's My Life? Real. Yeah.